our Journeyman Expedition. We are in stage four now. We've hit South America and we are taking control of Fluminense. Uh, I'm going to murder that for as long as we're here. I can guarantee you that. Uh, but uh, the, the joy is that we've, we've jumped in right at the start of the season. Uh, yet to play a game here and... Uh, the squad doesn't look that deep, and there's a lot of no-face players, and you know how much I love those. So unfortunately, with no licensing to the Brazilian league, there's a lot of no-face players in this team, and I'll be looking to ship them out and get some youth players in here. So I reckon we'll probably have one, maybe probably two seasons here in the Brazilian league um, as we try and build up this Finnish side and get ready for some European Championships and World Cup action. So uh, let's get straight into the action. We need to hire some scouts. We need to get this season underway. All right, so taking a look at our squad, we definitely need a striker, um, some right and left backs, and a left winger by the looks of things. We've got a cam playing all the way across. So we need some wingers desperately into this team. And uh, I think that's where we need to start our scouting expedition. Right, so we've got our four scouts. The first one needs to go here to Brazil. Now we are in South America, so uh, generally you want to scout the league that you're in. So that's what we're going to be doing. But obviously there are some other South American countries. Let me know in the comments down below if you feel we should be allowed to scout other South American countries or we should just be scouting Brazil. But for now we're going to send out Madraso, uh, to Brazil and we're gonna go and uh, immediately look for some wingers for three months. Our secondary scout in Liam Donaghy uh, from Northern Ireland, he needs to go to Finland. Now we've got a decent keeper there in Elton and coming through so uh, I'm happy with that. I'm not too sure what we're gonna need for this Finland side so I'm gonna start with physically strong players because uh, the kids that we get now through the remainder of the career mode we need them strong and are uh, ready to perform almost instantly because that Finnish squad isn't the best at the stage. All right, so Jay Brown needs to be sent out to one of our random generated countries. Oh, we're gonna hit the button here. It is number 49, and this comes from Michael Lemming. He wants me to go back to Bolivia. So uh, all these young sides that you did suggest uh, that we might get the country from, we're gonna be strengthening them along the way as well. So uh, there should be some good competition coming through through the World Cups. Uh, so we're heading off to Bolivia and uh, Let's see here, Bolivia. What do we need? What do we need? Right next to Brazil. So you'd assume there'd be a few Bolivians playing in the Brazilian league. Um, I'm going to go and look for some defensively minded players and hope that it brings us back to right backs and left backs. They won't be particularly pacey generally, but uh, just to fill those positions initially. All right, so we're midway through May, but the season's only just begun here in Brazil. Uh, a lot of games back to back, so we're gonna need some decent squad depth. And we also have uh, European Championship action. Interesting. All right, so there's Sweden, Switzerland, and the Netherlands. The Netherlands will be a tough game. Um, where do we, which one do we wanna play? That is the question. Because we don't have any youth players into this Fluminense side yet, I might play two of these European games in this episode, and that will take us through to the transfer window where we can pick up Lombardi and uh, look at the free agent situation. So the first half of this season for, for Brazil is gonna be in their own court, and uh, I think we'll take on, let's take on Sweden and uh, the Netherlands. Now I did have some uh, inquiries on how the other leagues are doing, and the Perth glory, <laughs> holy shit. They have absolutely smashed the A-League. Look at that. They haven't lost a game. And uh, 73 points acquired. That is ridiculous. In Japan, Gamba Osaka are sitting on 24 points there in uh, the J1. But you know that they don't let us see J2. So we're not going to be uh, have any idea how they do finish up. Uh, but at, the at this stage, they're sitting in third. And in the United States, Toronto have only played nine games. Uh, on 19 points, so hopefully Lombardi is putting a few goals in there, finding some form, growing behind the scenes, and we can bring him in in the transfer window. All right, taking a look at the results for May, and we started off our season with a one-all draw. We beat Santa Cruz 2-1. Uh, I'm going to murder all of these names, that is for sure. Chap, Econens. Oh, fuck knows. With 2-2 draw. Uh, then we had Vittoria, a nil-all draw, and then a 2-1 win against Ponta Preta. All right, so June, we know we're going to play these European games. We're going to play Sweden and uh, the Netherlands. That'll be a very, very big challenge. And, uh, well, let's just simulate through. We'll have a youth squad report before then. All right, our first set of monthly scouting updates is back. And we've got uh, Montenegro, 39 to 53, 71 to 94. He's worth 70 grand, so we'll keep an eye on him. 
Uh, Diaz, 70 grand, we'll keep an eye on. Vasquez, 275. His potential's not the highest. I'm going to leave him there, even though he's worth a lot of money. Uh, Nunez is rubbish. Uh, Valasquez, rubbish. Cabrera, rubbish. And Ponce, rubbish. All right, Finland, come on. Bring us back something delicious. And Viljami is shit. Uh, Pavola, rubbish. Uh, Miro Nuri... Oh, he's got a high potential. We'll keep an eye on him, but he's a low money. Samu has no face. Anton is shit. And Alexki is crap. So come on. We need some players for Finland. All right, come on. Find me something here in Brazil. Uh, no, I'm sorry. You're crap. And you are rubbish. And Alvarez is shit. And 70 grand. Potential's okay. We'll keep an eye on him. So no signings in our first scout report. All right, so the European Championships are going to begin here. We're going to simulate the first one for against here against Switzerland and uh, see how this team goes. Uh, we'll, let the, we'll let the game roll out. Uh, we've got Karaninen and Eltonen, two lads in. Uh, Eremenko puts us in the lead after 16 minutes, but Shakiri's missed the penalty. Uh, looks like a pretty strong side there for Switzerland. They've got Granit Xhaka and Shakiri there. And uh, Puki comes on. Mahemdi equalizes in the 60th minute for Switzerland. Come on, boys. Get over Switzerland here. We happy with a draw, though. Share them points. All right. Not a bad start to our European Championship campaign. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The European Championships, and it's Sweden versus Finland. It would have been really nice if they had the licensing for Finland, but we don't get a badge or anything like that. Sweden, uh, well, it was draws all across the board, everyone on one point. So uh, a real opportunity here for Finland to uh, cement a spot near the top of the group. And if we can take down Finland, I feel Netherlands will probably be the strongest side in this group, depending who Sweden put out. I don't even know if Ibrahimovic is still playing this late in the career mode, uh, but you'd assume his regen would be floating around somewhere. But the Finland side, well, <sighs> Fabian Bush has done a lot of things already in his lifetime. And uh, taking the Finnish team to glory is next on his list. Do we want to listen to this? The uh, national anthems? I don't think so. Let's just push on. Ball into the right area. Oh, no, oh God. What absolutely piss poor defending there from Finland. Well, it was a tentative start there. It's been all Sweden in the first nine minutes. Thought we did well, but Land, he's made two incredible blocks. What is the keeper doing? And his back completely turned, thought it was covered, and that is piss poor. And Elton will probably be coming in uh, for the next game between the sticks because uh, I can't handle a goalkeeper with his back to the game. Fucking stay in it. 1 0 Sweden. John Gudetti. Gudetti. I don't know. I love murdering names. So it's one forward. Oh, that's a great ball through. Can he finish? Oh, what to say from their keeper. No, oh, Sweden. It's all Sweden. We've done fuck all here in this fucking first half. And I did read in the comments that apparently Finland players do like a bit of cocaine. Well, maybe they're down on fucking come down because they have played absolutely pathetic. We've had about 30% possession. And Sweden put in the second goal here just before half time. And Fabian Bush has a lot of work to do. Hopefully, he can keep his job because uh, if this is the way he's going to get the players playing for him. They may as well get on the plane and go home. And half time at 2 0. We'll oh, we're just we're getting broken down wherever we go. Here's Hedemarge. Hedemarge. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, couldn't get the shot. He did everything to get in position, but not enough time to pull the trigger. And it's a corner for Finland as we finally get some sort of opportunity to try and score a goal because it's been absolutely rubbish. Here we come into the box. It's up. Oh, that is shit. That is shit. Hedemarge. He's got ring. There's ring. Oh, save from Nordfeldt. Nordfeldt. Great beer. Well, we've got a fucking opportunity for once. That's our first clean strike on goal, but a good save. Corner for Sweden. They've bloody outplayed us through the fucking dinners, that's for sure. This is a big, deep one. And there's the keeper. Fuck it, go for a run, son. Here we go. Schuller. The run from Eremenko, it's a poor touch. Oh, I can't even lay a fucking tackle. Come on, lads. Someone go out there. Fuck you. That's Karanen. 
Full time, 2 0 loss to Sweden. We got absolutely belted everywhere across the park, and we didn't even deserve a goal. Seven shots to four. 38% possession. That is how rubbish Finland were today. Uh, everyone had an absolute turd burglar of a game, especially the goalkeeper. Ugh. All right, European Championships, it's Finland and the Netherlands. This is going to be a tougher game than Sweden, I can tell you that right now. But, uh, yeah, hopefully we come out and play because we've gone to the bottom of the table. We're going to need a win here, that is for sure, to pick up some points. But to beat Netherlands after that last performance is going to be a real struggle. I've moved Hedemarj to left midfield. Eltonen comes in between the sticks and... Uh, Karanen comes, no, Shula, I'm starting in the midfield, so uh, let's see how that goes. Holland coming forward, there may be something on here. It's fucking Memphis Depay, that is the calibre of the Netherlands side here. And Shula makes a good challenge, and Spav to ring. Shula's kept running. Pompalo, come on, Pojan Palo. Pojan Palo, Pojan Palo, Pojan Palo, Pojan. Oh. Fuck me, that's shit. Gotta go cross goal, mate. Stop going to the hairdressers and getting those tints done. Oh, outside of the boot as well, you dickhead. Towards the challenge. Back to Urinan. Here's Spav. Come on, Palo. Turn it. Go, son. Oh! Fuck! An opportunity for Finland, and it goes begging. Oh, Memphis just turns Karana and inside out. Here comes Memphis, pushes inside. There it is. Klassen puts it past Elton. Netherlands needed one opportunity and they put it in the net. And well, Finland, we have a lot of work to do with this fucking squad, that is for sure. A class goal there from Holland. 1 0. What a finish. Elton had no chance on that. There's three Eltonids in the squad at the moment. Maybe we can get a full team of Eltonids. That would be pretty hilarious. Spav just clears the shit out in Finland. Absolutely shitting a biscuit here. Oh, some fancy shit inside to Jensen. He scored the first one. He's got Lum on him. Willems. Come on, lads. Defend. Defend for your lives. Defend for your countrymen. No, Memphis. Fuck! Finland, you are rubbish. Well, we need a total rebuild of this whole country. Memphis has absolutely slapped one in past Elton, and it's 2 0 the Netherlands. Finland weren't ready for this. They need a few more lines of cocaine at halftime. Unlucky, mate. Not a lot you can do about that one. Memphis laced it. Elton reacted in time. He just uh, look, didn't get the angle. dive he needed because it was an absolute rocket from Depay. It's 2-0. Well, we've given away a free kick now and uh, Finland losing the plot. Depay takes the crack. He went for it. It's hit the wall and it'll be a corner now. Oh, the Dutch are absolutely destroying us. Finland, like some small children. Oh, Van Ginkel trying something specky. Half time, 2 0 down. All right, just for shits and giggles, Oliver Harkey is coming on. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was at Toronto. He's like a 60 overall striker, about 16 or 17 years of age. And he's going up front because nothing else has happened. Shola. That's the run from Ring. Ring. Come on, Ring. Eremenko. Eremenko. Here's Haki. Slips it off. Bayer in. Oh. Get in, Finland! Yes! Yes, lad! Who was it? Fuck knows. I think it's the substitute I brought in. A striker playing out on the wing. A cracking strike. And Finland have put one in, ladies and gentlemen. Veyrenen. Veyrenen? Fuck knows. Great goal. That's what we needed. Back in the game. Somehow, Fabian Moose with a master strike at half time. Maybe he's given a couple of mirrors and a couple of credit cards and a couple of hundred dollar bills and uh, sorted these lads out because uh, Varinin, if that's how you say it, has scored a goal. Oh, Winelda splits the defensive line. Has to hold it up though. Feeds it off. Urinan did well, but it's fallen to Klassen. Beats it off. Spar puts his name. Oh, Elton and save. Come on, Finland. Come on, Finland. Oh, Shula did well. There's Harkey. 
Great pass from Harkey. Shul up. Puts it out. Aramek. Oh, you needed to hit it, son. You needed to fucking put your foot through it. Oh, the pie's been unleashed here. Slips past Lamb. Oh, Elton save. Cracking save from Elton. In. Well, he was looked like he was put off by the other Elton. In. And then the Elton, in, the keeper one, saves. And that's a corner now for the Netherlands. Playing in short. Oh, I lays it off. Nelda. Oh, Harkey. Go, son. Just a quarter of an hour left on the Slips clock. Slips it out wide. Here we go. Cocaine master. Slips it out. Aramenko. Cuts back. Slips it off. Ring. Oh. Oh, Yurinen, that is a cracking challenge. By Yurinen and then and then and then Shula slips it forward. He wants Haki. Haki does well. Slips it off. Oh, where was the runners? Spav. Oh, that's picked off. Oh, Shula does well. Eremenko. Haki turns his man. Haki. Oh, fuck a duck. Oh my God, Finland. Where has this fucking come from? They have hit the biscuits in half time. What a fucking turn there from the 60 overall striker, but there is his finishing. Mate, if the panties were down, he wouldn't be able to put it in. That is for sure. All right, here we go. Ring. Parky. Oh, he's done well there. Slips it off. Eremenko passes it off. Varanen. It's a 90th minute fucking escapade here. Varanen does well. Turns his man. Can he get the pass off? He can. Ring. Shula. Just needs a... Oh, he's offside. Unbelievable. And there's the whistle. A valiant effort there in the second half from Finland. Well, we're going down 2-1 to the Dutch. So we managed to get back seven shots, gain some possession. And uh, 8.3 for Varin. And maybe he needs to start up front. But Harky, what a fucking star in his first game for Finland. 60 overall with an 8.0. All right, we're going to wrap this one up very soon. But the first port of call is uh, to grab Lombardi now. They think that he's worth $67 million. It may take our whole budget just to bring him to the club. So uh, we're going to start proceedings here. Uh, I'm going to offer a flat out. Let's go 60 off the bat. All right, they've come back with $88 million for Lombardi. Okay, this is going to be a bit tougher than I thought. We're going to offer uh, 70 and uh, who can we offer up here? Let's have a look through this team and see if we can uh, offer one of these no-face strikers. Possibly. Oh, they're all getting on in age, aren't they? All right. So uh, what have we got to play with? All right. I'm going to offer Selva. He's the best striker at the club. All right. They've accepted the offer and we need to get him here. So we're going to offer him uh, 40 grand in wages. Double his wages. Get him here. We'll offer him uh, a four-year deal. Crucial first team player. Come on, Lombardi. All right, Tommy Hatunen. Okay, so this is where I was saying that our teams that uh, go to transfer, we can get in here and try and grab Hatunen. So uh, let's see if we can do it. All right, so Chelsea offered 1.2. Uh, if we offer 1.350, maybe we can steal him. All right, finally, Davide Lombardi accepts his contract. It's cost us 70 million and 66 grand a week, plus Silva going the other way. And that pretty much cleans us out. But uh, Lombardi is with us here in our fourth club. Right, we've also got a monthly scouting update. Uh, Montenegro will still keep a look at. Diaz, uh, we're going to reject. Vasquez, uh, we'll still keep an eye on him. Uh, Benitez, reject. Fuentes, we'll keep an eye on. Sandoval, reject. Avila, reject. Nothing from Bolivia here. And Cuesta, reject. All right, come on, Fidlin. Uh, Nariniman, Still keep an eye on him. Oh, you are shithouse. Uh, Sitala, 140 grand. We're going to sign him in. Well, that's one. Leo is rubbish. Miro could be okay. You're shit. And Carilli up, 300 grand. Yes, we've got some Finnish players into our youth academy. All right, Brazil Neves still has that high potential. He's only five foot five. Um, we'll give him another month. Linz is crap. Cabarel will continue to scout. Gabriel Xavier, 100 grand, could be all right. We'll give him another month. 
Uh, Amarel, no thanks. And Branco, uh, I'm going to reject him as well. All right, we managed to steal Tommy Hatunen. He was on his way to Chelsea, but he's accepted a contract with us. And uh, he was playing in the Finnish squad. So uh, now we've got a chance to train him a little bit. And uh, he will help Finland going forward. And plus, he's playing in Brazil now. All right, he's made his move to Fluminense, is Lombardi. They've given him number 31 at the moment. Uh, so I want you to go into the comments below and tell me what number he deserves and uh, if you'd like to make any changes to his kit. But those white boots and white gloves look pretty fitting with this uniform, as horrendous as it is. Um, yeah, probably just a number change. But if you do want to make some changes to his kit, do let me know and uh, we'll see what we can do there. And we've also got Hatunen, who we've just brought from the Perth Glory. Uh, he won't be starting just yet, but with a bit of training, he probably will make his way into the first team. He has number 14 at the moment. If you want to make any changes to his kit, let me know in the comments down below. Right, so let's have a look. Fluminense, Fluminense are sitting in 15th position. Only two wins uh, and 11 points. But hopefully Lombardi can come in and start making a difference here. You'd assume he would have 86 overall as we start to build this side. We're about halfway through the season. No, probably a quarter or a third maybe. A lot of games we play all the way through to Brazil. There's two, three games in a week sometimes. So... Uh, Going to need some squad depth. Some of those youth academy players will make their way into the team. And uh, the transfer window is still open. So I'll go and start seeing if we can bring some decent free agents in in the next episode. But that's where we're going to leave it. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. We'll have some games with Fluminense. That is for sure in the next episode. And we'll see you then. I'm Spiron DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one.